What's up, guys? Yup. I'm just keep trucking with the movie reviews. And this time, we're going into the monster horror side. Which is kind of what Predator was. But, uh, anyway. We're doing Jaws. Anyway. Okay, where to begin? Where to begin? Um... Jaws. I say one of my favorite horror movies of all time. And I like those off-color, off-brand horror movies that no one's heard of. I enjoy those. Those are fun. But for Monster... Yeah, it's a toss-up. Um, I'll probably have to stick with Jaws, even though it's mainstream. And uh, you know, I'm not a hipster or anything. Well, I liked uh, Jaws before it was popular. Shut up. Anyway, I just I do not sequitur sometimes. Just deal with it. Anywho, Jaws. Awesome movie. Great concept. The concept was simple, and they just made it more extreme because this kind of situation has happened. What happens when you put a great white shark? In an island, people on the island, surrounded by water, anyway, um, yeah, what do you get, and you get this, a lot of deaths, you know, um, not a lot of people know that this is based off of, uh, a book, which was based off events that happened in 1912. They called it 12 Days of Terror because in 1912, I can't remember what month exactly, but they weren't sure if it was Great White Shark or Bull Shark. My money's on a bull shark because only a bull shark, well, that we know of, can go into a river, up a river, and survive. So, uh, yeah, um, it was pretty cool. I, I enjoyed that they kind of used that as a background kind of thing. I love how they did not show the shark. And also makes sense because the budget and the shark didn't really look very real. You know, it's kind of like, yeah, it makes sense that they won't show it a lot because it's a type of thing and it doesn't look real. And so it makes sense that they, they, they did that. That they did that. Anyway, um, Jaws. The book, if you read the book first, most people haven't, but if you read the book after you see this, it's might as well late than never. Um, the book would be like a rating R, rated R, no, no, rated X, even, because in the book, uh, what is it, Hooper, Hopper, whatever, the, the, this guy has an affair with Brody's wife, and I'm not kidding, it's in the book, read it, and it's very descriptive about what happens, uh, I don't want to go there. I mean, I could, but uh, I don't want it, because uh, this may sound weird, but my parents could watch these, and I would like to keep it clean, even if older people, older, you know, want to watch these videos, I don't want them to be offended by things I say, so I try to say things that I like and what I don't like without cursing. I'm sorry. Anyway, non sequitur. Yeah. Um, favorite death scene? <sighs> That's a tough one. I'm going to have to go with that little boy on a raft, just because it's so horrendous that a little boy on a raft that's so innocent gets killed by this 25-foot monster. You know, I, I, I liked the concept of Quint, a major fish hunter who used to be, was it, it was World War One when that Lusitania went, yeah, it was World War One when the Lusitania went down. And he was like, or was he in World War II? Because it seems like the movie takes place during the 80s, so World War II would make more sense, because Quint would be so old. And he's like, You ever look into a shark's eyes? They're like doll's eyes. Lifeless and black. I don't know if he actually says lifeless and black, but paraphrasing. I liked his character. However, I did not like that he thought he knew everything about sharks. He's like, Fish, swallow your whole. Give me five, ten thousand, or whatever, how much money he asks for, for that to get your head, the tail, the whole damn thing. No, really? No, 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 it's okay. You hunt it, you kill it. We just want you to kill it. That's fine. You can keep it. 
But if you want us to have it, that's fine. We can hang it up in our in our city hall. Like this is the monster that our city defeated. No, Quint did. Anyway, what I did like anything else? Um, Chief Brody. I like Chief Brody. He wasn't your typical superhero, or not superhero, but hero. Hero. I almost said heroin. He's not a female. I liked it how he was human. Completely human. It grounded him, made us feel like, you know what? We could do that too. We grasped the concept. He's a family man. He, he loved his kids. He loved his wife. He wanted to protect them. That's why he went out after the shark. What I didn't like, well, Quint's death. I don't know why. I just didn't. Um, the mayor. Oh, every movie needs that character that you just want to punch in the mouth. And there's the mayor. Mark, it, it could be a barracuda. It could be a propeller. It was nothing but a propeller accident. Really? A propeller can do this? Chomp. Rip. It can do that? I thought it would go... And, you know, blood would squirt everywhere. And it would just be really messy and choppy. Not very precision cuts, you know? The mayor was an idiot. He still is. And I, I wish he would have gone into the water and got eaten. That would have been so cool to see. I would have been like, he's going to die. He's going to die. Oh, he didn't die. Come on. And this one push. Om nom nom nom. <laughs> he died now. Anyway. um, Anything else I didn't like? Well, Hopper. I did not I did like him, but I didn't. I loved how he was smart. But he didn't, he, he was kind of like, thought he was a little too smart. Quint thought he was too smart, or smarter than Hopper, because he's exper he's more experienced, like, in the real world. I loved their relationship, hated that they hated each other, loved their relationship, which is weird. Um, a lot of people say they like the first scene as their favorite, because, well, it's the first death scene, and you just see this primal fear in her eyes, which actually is very clever how they did that. You know how they did that? They had her naked in a harness. And divers in the water had strings attached to carabiners that were attached to this harness. And they would pull and pull and pull, which you would get this drastic, you know, wave flailing feel. And, um... Actually, one time, they pulled at the same time, and she broke a rib. And so they're like, ooh, this is kind of dangerous. And so they actually had one guy, I think they changed to one guy, that would just do this. And, you know, pull, and that type of thing. <sighs> Let's see. What else do I want Do I want to tell about this movie? Jaws. If you don't have it, go get it. It's worth the watch. For a movie made in 19... He, this is 25 year anniversary, right? And it's 2000, so 25 years from 2000. That would be 1985? I'm, I'm sucky at math, I apologize. But if you... No, wait, no, it'd be 1975. That's right, 75 plus 25 equals 100. Okay, so for 1975, great movie, great, fantastic, fantastic movie. Look it up. Look up the book, too, by Peter Benchley. It's an awesome read. Adult read, so if you're younger than, like, 18, I wouldn't suggest reading it. But, of course, kids nowadays play Modern Warfare 3, and they curse. And I'm like, really? You're, does your mother know you have that kind of mouth on you, dude? If I was your father, I would have smacked you in the mouth. Hard. I would have made you bleed. I would have made your tongue swell up. You don't talk like that when you're that young. When you're 18 and you're an adult, your parents may not like it, but in my opinion, they can't do anything about it. So, yeah, this was uh, my uh, movie review. I hope you enjoyed it. If there's anything, anything I missed, I'll catch up on it when I review Jaws 2. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching.